If you've been in the market for HVAC system replacement and have been wanting to get a heat pump, switching to a heat pump just got easier. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the new Daikin 120 volt air handler. Now this has been out for a few months. We've installed a few of them. It's an absolutely uh, revolutionary product. I'm gonna talk about good applications for it, applications where it probably won't make that much of a difference. But for a lot of people, this is gonna make the cost of switching from a furnace to a heat pump a lot easier, a lot more affordable. Also for installers, it's gonna make their job a lot Lot easier and we'll talk about why but before we get started if you haven't done so already please make sure you smash that like button for the algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already we put out daily and weekly content on how you can get the best HVAC for your home so if you got value from this video liking and subscribing is just a free way you can show support that being said let's dive into the content so first off I have some air handlers pulled up on my screen uh, I want to go through these with you just so you can get an idea of what we're talking about if you're new to if this is your first time replacing HVAC or you know you don't replace your HVAC that often because let's say you're in a moderate climate. An air handler is basically the indoor component of your unit. And so I have these pulled up on my screen right here, but an air handler looks like this. If you have a furnace, right, your furnace also has functions in a similar way in, as the air handler, except it has a blower motor and then it also has a heat exchanger. And then on top of the furnace is where you have your evaporator coil. The difference is that an air handler basically doesn't have, it's there's no furnace component so it's just a blower motor and evaporator coil now if you live in a market like Florida or Texas or you're probably chances are you already have a heat pump so this might not apply to you but if you do live in one of those markets and you have a furnace and you're wanting to switch to a heat pump the reason the this particular product right here the 115 DFVE system is a game changer is because this particular air handler is a 120 volt air handler and I'll explain what that means and why that's important so a standard outlet that you plug anything into is 120 volts. Your furnace operates on a 120 volt circuit. It's normally just a 15 amp breaker. It's a small circuit. Well, most of these other air handlers, they run on 240 volts. And the reason is twofold. Number one, they're just designed that way. But the reason they're designed that way is because most air handlers historically have had a backup heat kit. And the reason they've had a backup heat kit is because heat pumps work well down to about 30 or 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's not true for all heat pumps. We talk about a lot of cold climate heat pumps on this channel. So if you're tuning in for the first time and you're wanting to get a heat pump in a cold climate, you can definitely do that. Depending on how cold your climate is will determine whether or not you go with a product like this. But the reason you have a 240 volt air handler or they've all kind of been that way is because you're going to need a, to run a 240 volt circuit for your heat kit regardless because your backup electric heat kit is typically going to be a pretty large breaker. It could be 60 amps, could be 100 amps if you have a really big house. It could be 125 or 150 amps just for the heat kit. Normally it's going to be a two point kit at that point. So it's normally would be maybe like a 60, 40 or, or it depends on the manufacturer. But bottom line is you're going to be pulling a lot of power for that backup electric heat because it's just nothing but big electric coils that you're heating with. When you talk about a heat pump, heat pumps actually work by using all it is is an air conditioner with a reversing valve. And so what happens is if you've ever gone out to your air conditioner in the summer, you put your hand over, you know, the top of the condenser and you feel warm air coming off the top, that's because it's actually pulling heat out from the refrigerant that's been circulating through the loop between the indoor unit and the outdoor unit. And it's rejecting that heat outside. That's why you have hot air coming off the top of the condenser. Well, in a heat pump, the same thing is true, except when you go out in the winter, you'll actually get cold air coming off of your condenser. And that's because what it's doing is it's actually transferring heat from the outside to the inside. And even when it's, you know, negative 15 degrees outside or 10 degrees or whatever, there's still technically heat outside available to be absorbed by the refrigerant to then be transferred inside and used in your, by your heat pump to produce heat or reject the heat is the technical term inside your home. Now, the reason this air handler right here that is 115 volts is such a game changer is because one of the biggest expenses, especially in a home where your mechanical room might be far away from your electrical panel, is that when you're replacing your furnace and you're saying, you know what, I want to switch to a heat pump, is that you would have to run a 240 volt circuit or you'd have to run new line voltage from the circuit at the electrical panel all the way to your mechanical room. And again, if your mechanical room is far away from your electrical panel, that can get somewhat expensive and pricey. Well, 
This piece of technology basically pairs with the dike and fit, and it allows that air handler to plug into a 100, a standard wall outlet or or whatever your power source was that you were using for your electrical for your furnace. So if you're just at a furnace, you're going to have a 120 volt circuit already available that this bad boy can use, and you can just basically connect to that. And there's no need to run an additional expensive electrical circuit and have a 240 volt circuit just to switch to a heat pump. Now there's a few exceptions to this and I want to talk about this. This type of application will work great in most moderate climates. This particular air handler pairs with the Daikin Fit and so if you're in a moderate or even colder climate that will define as anything where the lows stay above negative 20 all the time, right? You're not really going to need backup heat. You're going to be able to, with a, a cold climate heat pump like the Daikin Fit, that thing at 20 degrees Fahrenheit, at 15 degrees Fahrenheit, that thing should keep up and be just fine. If it's going much below 15 degrees Fahrenheit, it's, you're probably going to want to have some backup heat. The code is going to vary by your region on whether or not you can put in something without backup heat. So for example, in Colorado, we cannot just put this in as the primary heat source unless you had some source of backup heat because there are times where it gets down to negative 15 here and it might be for a weekend and then it, it gets back up to our average lows in the winter are around 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So 99% of the time or 98%, this air handler would work fine. But on those coldest nights, the heat pump's just not going to keep up. And so unless you have a backup boiler in the house or radiant floor heating or something to supplement the heat pump, an inspector is not going to pass that. Now, you also wouldn't want to do that and just have that be your only source of heat just because if you get really cold weather and you don't have a backup pellet stove or fireplace, something to warm the house, then what's going to happen is when that heat pump derates in terms of its capacity output, it's not going to keep up. Now, in places like Phoenix, all of Texas, basically all of the South, any of those states, even though I know it gets cold in some places or it might get relatively cold, the system's going to keep up fine. And so this is going to be a great solution to basically bypass the need for a furnace and go and switch to a heat pump without having to worry about a backup electric heat kit. You're also going to get a super efficient system because this particular unit pairs with the Daikin Fit Enhanced, making it a very versatile product. Now, when it comes to other products on the market, I don't know of another manufacturer that makes one. I'll stand to be corrected in the comment section below. So if you, you know, represent another manufacturer and, and you guys have a 115 volt air handler, I'm curious to hear, post about it in the comment section below. But as far as I know, this is a very unique product on the market. And so actually very thrilled to be able to offer this to our customers that are looking to switch from a furnace to a heat pump, especially in those more moderate climates, because it's going to really lessen the expense by not having to run a 240 volt circuit. And it just also makes it a breeze for our installers on install day, where, where they're able to use the existing electrical and just plug right in. And if you happen to be in one of the areas we service, like Denver, Colorado, or Phoenix, Arizona, you can actually schedule an appointment with us for free. We come out for free for all first-time customers, whether that's for a service call or annual maintenance, or if you're just looking for an estimate for system replacement. And there's actually a link in the description below where you can actually schedule online at your convenience, as well as an up-to-date list of the cities and states that we service, so you can stay up-to-date when we start servicing your metro. Hopefully you found this content helpful, and if you did, again, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And as promised earlier, there's a few videos popping up on the screen about the Daikin Fit, as well as a few other videos that YouTube thinks you should watch, so make sure you check those out if you haven't done so already, and we will catch you on the next episode.